Good afternoon. I'm Todd Weinbrenner. Great to be with you. And we're going to get right into our first conversation today. And I'm going to start by saying that none of us need to be told that the cost of everything is up. And so a lot of people are looking for foods that will give them something to eat and still fit in a budget. So some people are opting for processed foods, convenience foods. My first guest today, though, says you can be health conscious and budget conscious at the same time. Jim Laval is a clinical pharmacist and educator and the author of over 20 books, including Cracking the Metabolic Code. Jim Laval joins us if I push the right button. And Jim, good afternoon. Thanks for being here. Oh, great to be on. And yes, the right button was pushed. <laughs> okay. Well, we want to talk a little bit about food and how we make food choices, and we're turning to you as an expert in the field of nutrition. And, uh, you know, we talk about eating healthy, and a lot of people associate that with higher costs, with something that's kind of exotic, kind of hard to find. Is it really more expensive to eat healthy? You know, I think it, it really is not hard to eat healthy nowadays. I mean, just think about it. If you go to a, any kind of fast food place, just take a look at how much money you spend for that average fast food meal, processed food. It's very the, – the cost is not that cheap anymore. And I think if you're really interested in health, which a lot of people over the last three years have become interested in their health, you've got some great options. And, of course, you want to follow, well, where, you know, what do people eat in countries – that uh, where people live the longest and have the healthiest lives, right? So mm -hmm. we're not trying to pattern that. And I got to tell you, it probably isn't the cultures that are eating triple decker nachos and chicken wings. <laughs> but uh, so we kind of got to think about maybe if I'm am I interested in just you know food for the sake of good tasting food? I've been wrong with that. My father was a world famous chef. Or what can I do? The majority of the time, it's going to make me healthy, and you can do it in an affordable way. Well, let me move on to something you just mentioned here. You you have talked about your research and the fact that you have identified some blue zones where people are doing that. They're eating in a way that is really helping their health and helping their lives. So can you tell us about blue zones? What are they? Yeah, I mean, you know, there's some great books that have been written on the blue zones. And these are areas where you have the biggest percentage of people living healthy to the age of 100. And, you know, it's not, you know, it, it, for a lot of cultures, the more money you make, the more food you buy. And one of the biggest problems is people eat too much, they eat too often, they eat too late, they pick the wrong foods, they don't get enough sleep, and they're stressed out. So in blue zones, you can think about, like, in a carry a Greece or Sardinia, Italy, or Okinawa, Japan, people eat a lot more vegetables. The average American is not eating a lot of vegetables, I can tell you. Unless it's the pickle on the burner, that's not happening. <laughs> okay. Um, that, is, that isn't happening. Um, but they're eating more vegetables, more nuts and seeds, some fruits, uh, grains. But I, I, like I, tell, I try to get people here, you know, you got to be careful with the grains because we have a very sedentary life. Most of these blue zone countries, people are also active. They're walking. They're carrying their vegetables home, right? Uh, they're going up and down steps. Uh, so they're, they're, they're moving, but, but you can get these foods very economically. I think one of the big problems is people buy fresh produce, and a lot of times it ends up rotting in their fridge. Um, I know for me, as, you know, empty nester this last year and a half, we had to really adjust the way we b bought our food because we kept looking in the fridge going, oh, my gosh, we just wasted another 50 bucks, you know, while rotting vegetables and rotting berries, you know, so – so I think it's important that you make a plan. Um, one of the biggest areas you can save on, I mean, you, your vegetables are super important when you think about the blue zones. I mean, we know they're really valuable for your health. But you could do frozen. You can get frozen vegetables, even buying organic ones. You can at least take the portion you want to eat out and then put it back in the freezer. And frozen vegetables actually have really high nutrient content because they pick them at the, at the peak of their freshness. Flash freeze them, keep the nutrients in them. And the only thing you got to watch when you're cooking them, of course, is you know, don't, you know, don't make a mush. You don't want to, you don't want to cook them forever, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, but there's very effective ways to be affordable is to get frozen vegetables. It works really well. Okay, you're one of the first nutrition advocates I've talked to that that says that most of the people say fresh, fresh, fresh. Where do you think that comes from? 
Well, I mean, look, I'd love it if you can if you can buy fresh produce. But for a lot of people, when you go buy fresh produce, if you're living alone or maybe it's just two of you at home, a lot of times it goes bad. And there is, without a doubt, frozen vegetables do have a high amount of nutrients in them. They don't lose the fiber. They haven't been like a canned product where they've been steamed to death and you may have lost a lot of the nutrients, right? And they're just mm-hmm. kind of, you know, mushy. Uh, you know, when you have frozen, you're getting a fresh product. And you know, it's what I prefer if people went out and gardened themselves or they went out and bought organic fresh produce, of course. But this is a way that you don't wait if you're on a budget. You can get a high-quality, you know, vegetables every day and not an issue. Okay, let's talk for just a minute about something else I hear people say a lot. We keep hearing about protein and the importance of protein in our diet. A lot of people equate that with heading for the meat counter. But you say there are alternative sources of protein that we could be taking in. So uh, what are you talking about? Yeah, I mean, first of all, I think I think heading to the meat counter, getting fish, getting turkey, getting lamb, getting, you know, bison, all really good, but also very pricey. So maybe you could take one or two meals a day and combine, you know, use things like beans or lentils. And if you're having problems with, say, digesting those, maybe you use some beano, right, so the family doesn't get upset with you. <laughs> uh, but, 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 you know, so, you know, so I, I think that beans and legumes offer a really good way uh, to – get protein in your diet, cheap alternative way to do it. doesn't mean you got to go all plant-based protein. I'm certainly not an advocate for that. But I do like to, you know, do that in the, in the course of a week for folks because it does help save on their budget. And you know what? Get the app at whatever store you're going and shopping and look at the coupons that are in the app now. We used to get the little sections in the paper, right? But mm-hmm. now, you know, you just look on the app and, you should do that anyway because if you're buying aluminum foil or anything, you know, why not get those coupon savings in addition to the foods that you normally would look for? Another really important way to save, uh, and it, you know, if, if you're going into the store, and then what we've resorted to is we actually have food delivered, and then we go to the store to pick up things you can't get delivered, but we've got great services where we plan our meals for the week, and that way we only have in our refrigerator what is planned for us to have for the week. That way you don't overeat either, uh, which is a kind of a good way to do it as well. Okay. Well, this is all great advice, and some of it is kind of going back to the way people used to do business. you think you can create a society, or, or do you think society will become a society that looks for those coupons? Well, I think the, the more expensive things get, the more people look for a deal. I can tell you that. I mean, I'm not averse to looking for savings. I mean, now, of course, I'm 63 years old, but I'm not averse to looking for those savings. I know my son, who's 24, he's looking for that stuff on his apps, working on save some money all the time. I think it's there. I think people take a lot of supplements, and then you can start to do things like combine supplements. I think that's important for people to look at that as well. Uh, I don't, one of the good ones, you know, Kyolic has a product that I think is great. It's got uh, bone, heart, and immune support, all in one product. And I think when you start to look for those kind of products where you can kind of get more out of it than trying to, you know, because a lot of people bought a lot of supplements since the pandemic. You know, they're trying to be more proactive, but at the same time, that adds up. So finding things that are of value to supplement your diet, to help that are well-proven in scientific studies. If you're in it for an active lifestyle and you want to maintain your healthy weight, decrease inflammation in your body, there's a few supplements that have got a lot of value. Well, Jim, we have covered a lot of territory in a very short period of time, and we appreciate your insights into staying more healthy and shopping more carefully. Where can people find out more? Are there resources they could access to, to find out more about the things you're talking about? Yeah, they can go to, um, obviously, JimLaval.com, and then if they're interested, you know, in, like, for example, that product, it's Kyolic.com. Uh, either one, they can get some really good information on what to do about a, a healthy lifestyle. 